Greetings, and thank you for joining us. My name is Garrett Harley. I'm the Director of Product Marketing within the Construction and Engineering Global Business Unit of Oracle. And joining me today are Janice Page. Say hi, Janice. Hello, everyone. Janice is the Director of Product Strategy for our newly released pre-construction solution and an altogether amazing human being. And rounding out the group today is one of our many industry experts and master principal sales consultants, Mr. Bruno Mega de Andrade. That's just fun to say. Welcome, Bruno, and thanks for being here. Hello, everyone. It has been quite a journey to get here, but I know that Janice and Bruno are just as excited as I am because with over 30 years of delivering industry-leading project management software to all shapes and sizes of engineering and construction projects, literally everywhere in the world. Being involved in bringing something to life that while not net new to the industry, is net new to our overall smart construction platform is pretty cool. So what is this new thing that we're gonna cover today? Well, you're here because if you build things or you're a part of building things, you know that before we ever put a shovel in the ground or turn a wrench, that there are a whole host of things that precede it. Our new pre-construction solution is a gateway to a string of data and business processes that builders require. And Oracle, with its full arsenal of project and financial management capabilities, is uniquely suited to deliver. So who is pre-con for? We know that general or head contractors have different needs during the bid tender process than subcontractors or subbies do. So what's in it for each group? And then Bruno will steal the keys and drive us around inside each of these experiences. And lastly, we will all meet back up to go over how you can get started. So Oracle Pre-Construction is a new online marketplace connecting general contractors and subcontractors who need to pursue and win the right projects with the right partners again and again. So Janice, I hear the word marketplace and I immediately think of things like Amazon where I see advertisements and search around for stuff that I need or LinkedIn where I search around for people that I wanna know. What exactly am I shopping for in Oracle's Precon Marketplace? That's actually funny you mentioned both of those because if you put them both together, it's essentially what our Precon Marketplace is all about. So as a GC, or a head contractor, I am essentially le leveraging the marketplace to advertise the stuff I need. It's advertising work, projects, opportunities to work with me and the owners we both will work for. And as a subcontractor or subby, I review all of those advertisements, see if what I do matches up with the GC needs, and if so, look to win the work with someone I know or maybe someone I want to know. Okay, I, I think I get it now. It's actually kind of like a dating app for GCs and subs to connect over projects. I'm kidding, but I think I understand what you're saying. So it's not just about advertising work. The real value of the marketplace is the partnerships that all that work can help create. Exactly. Um, engineering and construction is and will always be a relationship business. So finding and maintaining those relationships is critical to not just delivering successful projects, it's critical to operating a successful company. That is such a good point, Janice, especially in our industry, which has such razor thin margins, the right partners really make all the difference. But general contractors or head contractors have different roles to play during pre-con than subs or subbies do. So who is Oracle Pre-Construction really for? Is it for both of them? Yes, um, the marketplace is for delivery teams and it covers off those unique perspectives of what I do as a GC or head contractor and what I do as a sub. Okay, gotcha. But Precon is pretty broad in scope. I mean, what I mean is there are a variety of things that make up Precon. There's the whole bid tender process. I'm developing estimates. I have to upload and deal with construction documents that can eventually move into contracts, schedule development, all of that. What capabilities can I expect given my role as either a GC or head contractor or a sub or subby? Where did you all start when you developed this? 
Great question. And I like where your head's going with this. There are so many logical additions to where we can take this and how the inf information that organizations manage and collect during pre-con can and should be carried forward into the project and financial management solutions that follow. And while I can't give you the details on the full roadmap, even though there are some awesome things coming, I can tell you what specific process or problem we focus our energy on to start. What we decided to tackle first was just simplifying the whole bid or tender process. As a GC or head contractor, make it easy to advertise or publish bid and tender opportunities in the cloud marketplace. Give them a place to centrally manage and maintain a directory of subcontractors or subbies. Send out invitations. Get folks out of long, hard to audit email chains with attachments, with a streamlined communication that never requires you to leave the environment to ask or answer questions, and ultimately evaluate and award the best qualified bid or tender. And oh, yeah, if you are a sub or a subby, you play for free. Wait, what? Did you just say free? Yes, subs are really the secret sauce here, and there's literally no barrier to entry for them. So like every valuable marketplace, we've made it easy to access, simple to use, and it helps everyone. Wow, that's really cool. And it sounds super easy to get going. But before we have Bruno walk through a demo for us, can you give us a sense of what he will take us through for each group? Sure. Let's start with the GC or the head contractor. So the goal here is to simplify the bid or tender process. And as a GC or head contractor, we make it super easy to clear these five basic hurdles. One, organize and maintain all of your project documentation for each bid and tender opportunity. Two, simple initial import of your subcontractor directory to help you maintain and manage an online centrally available network that will organically grow. Number three, send out invitations. Four, respond to subcontractor RFIs. And finally, five, review and award bids or tenders. Boom. Oh, well, those are certainly the basics that I need. What about subs or subbies? Well, once they opt in, the day-to-day -day is pretty straightforward. They can accept invitations, review all of the work requirements that the GC or head contractor has provided via attachments that they've uploaded into the system, submit RFIs when they have questions, receive messages from the GC or head contractor, and then obviously submit their bid or quote for consideration. Then on the premium tier, they can level up their pursuit gains with capabilities like viewing the GC or head contractor's project award status so they don't place bets on bidding or quoting work that the GC or head contractor hasn't won yet, or getting their overall bid and tender histories, basically understanding your batting average in your pursuits, or search, searching for new partners and connections, the whole LinkedIn style networking aspect of business development. And of course, the ability to add richer details to your organization's marketplace profile. So GCs and head contractors can better find you. So what do you guys say? Should we hand the keys to Bruno and have him take through these experiences? Heck yeah. I can't wait to see it. Bruno, are you ready for us? Yeah. Hey, it's you. I'm here. And absolutely. Let's go take a look. So Bruno, why don't we start from the position of the GC or the head contractor? So uh, this is pretty construction, welcome. Um, as a GC, right, this is the first page you might be interested on seeing, right? This is the bid listing of all projects um, that I have in my, in my org, right? If I go down in one specific project, for example, this medical center here, right? I can see details of this project, all bid packages, files, messages, RFIs for that specific project, right? And it's very easy if I want to create a new bid package, invite subs, um, manage uh, messages and RFIs. So everything is pretty much simple, right? Here I can see all my bid packages that I have in this project. As you can see, I, I have status, different status for every single one. 
the ones that are not published yet, the ones that are awarded, uh, published. So there's a, a different status here. You can just filter by status, right? Clear everyone. And if I want to add a new, add and publish a new bit package, just go here, add single or multiple bit packages at once, right? Uh, just so you can have a look in this, let me let me go down this CSI existing condition survey here. This is a new bit package. It has some name details, uh, the B due date, right? There's a warning message here um, telling me to whether or not to publish this bit package right now, right? So um, the CSI thing here is interesting as well because I can just uh, put some uh, information, right? These are trade codes. My, yeah. yeah, trade codes, yeah. It's very interesting as well. So this, this is all information about this bit package. I can add files in here, right? Every time that I want to publish a bit package, usually we go uh, we go publishing with, with uh, attached documents so the subs can take a look and download the documents, understand what's the the job, the, the, the work that has to be performed, right? And can bid uh, to it, right? So if I want to create, to add new uh, documents here, it's really simple. Uh, we, we, we have folders in here, for example, drawings, right? I can, for example, include new files, files here just by easily dragging here, drag and drop here. So new documents attached to that specific bit package. It's all being updated here, right? I can save. If I want to invite people to bid on this package, just go here in bidders, add bidders. And this is one of the most interesting thing about pre-construction. I can browse for subcontractors. I can search for subcontractors on my own organization directory, right? If I just um, there's a lot of filters here, but if I just click in search and take a look at everyone, uh, let me expand my, my location here. Let's find any location, not only around Philly area. So let me go search here. So all of those um, subs here are the ones that are, are on my organization directory. I mean, the ones I used to be, I used to, uh, to do business with. Right. But I can also search on the pre-construction directory, trying to find people and orgs at, for example, this location or any location. It seems really simple. Yeah. So I can, I can find um, subs and orgs here, even though I have never done business with them before. So, for example, let's, let's have... Bruno from ABC Builders in here. Let's add here. He seems like a good guy. It's a good pick. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I yeah, I agree. <laughs> and now I'm get, I just publish my bid package, right? Once I have all of my bidders uh, selected here, I can just go and publish my big package, I can preview the invitation before sending, right? This is the actual mail message that will be sent to all okay. my yeah. um, subs. I can just go in publishing here. It's going to do two things. It's going to publish my bit and also send invitations for the subs, right? All at the same time. So this is, this is how it gets out onto the open marketplace. I put all the files and the documentation that my subcontractors are going to need to understand the scopes of work. Yep. And I essentially put that out onto the marketplace for folks to be able to see. And I can yep. invite based upon my own directory list, or I can search through anyone else that's on the marketplace. Yeah. That's the most interesting part of pre-construction, right? This is because this is an open marketplace. Um, there's another interesting tabs here, beads. This is where I will find the bits that the subs are gonna send to me. Okay. Messages, if I want to, for example, create a new message to, to my uh, bidders, to all bidders or not submitted bidders or specific bidders, right? I can just put a text in here 
this is a sample um sample message for example if i want to uh comment on some agenda or something like that just send a message rfis um this is the other way right if any of the subs that i invited wants to send me a question want to send me um any any information they can just send an rfi I can take a look in this. The, all RFIs will show up in this tab here, and I can uh, reply to the RFIs, attach the files to RFIs, and here we're going to see the history of everything that's been done as, uh, as part of this specific. Um, so this is great. So all the communications can just take place right inside the solution. I don't have to use email or go outside yeah. of this. This is all just self-contained. Yes, that's, oh. that's the idea. So this seems really simple and straightforward. Janice, are there any added things that you wanted to mention here or some other key benefits? Yes, I would just mention that although all of this is located within the tool, the users won't always have to just come to the tool to see the information. They will get e emails sent to their email box that will tell them that they have an RFI that has been received or an RFI that has been answered. So they will have prompts that will help bring them back into the tool so they can get that updated information. Got it. Okay, so we've covered pretty much the basics of what I do on the general contractor or head contractor side. Let's shift gears in the process and talk about how this might work from the subcontractors or the subbies viewpoint. So Bruno, let's say that I'm a sub. How do I get engaged, understand the work requirements, respond to the opportunities, communicate with folks back and forth? I mean, we've seen some of those components in RFIs, but you know, once I'm ready to go through to submit, how does the process work? Okay, so here we go. Um, let me open up my other um, browser here, right? Now I'm playing in the role of the subcontractor, right? Now I'm the ABC builders. And, and on my very first page, I can see my opportunities here. Those are the opportunities that I have been invited to. Um, even though I have not sent any information about whether or not I'm going to respond, right? So there's some status here, accepted, undecided, not responded. Right. Yep. Um, let's just um, do a quick refresh here because this new bit package that I have just published as a GC will now appear and not show up in here. The CSI existing condition survey. Right. I can manage my list of opportunities using the those uh, filters here. Right. What are the ones that I have declined, submitted, closed, awarded? Right. So um, I can manage everything in here. And one interesting thing as well is this open opportunity tab here in the, at the top. Here I'm going to see all public opportunities we I can see I can search in the marketplace, right? So even though I have not I have not been invited to that specific opportunity, I can go in here, send a connection request, and start working on this specific bit package. So in terms of opportunities pipeline, right? Um, pre-construction for the subcontractor might be a very interesting uh, solution for even growing the business, right? We can search for different opportunities in the marketplace, not only right. the ones that I have been explicitly invited to. Okay, so go just going down here in this existing condition survey, the ones I have just published, right? Um, first of all, I have to tell GC whether or not I'm going to bid on this. So I can just uh, leave these as undecided so we can take the decision later on. Okay. Uh, decline or accept, right? In this case, I will accept because I, I did the, in this example, I want to send an actual bid, right? Um, files, this is where I'm gonna see all files that have been published as part of the, uh, uh, of the bid package. I can download, I can take a look at those, right? I can see the messages. For example, that one that I just uh, sent when I was playing the role on, on GC. Yep. Yeah, and the RFI, so this is my turn. If I want to send an RFI to the, to the GC, just put in here, this is my sample question. Put a message in here. 
I can again just uh, easily um, drag and drop documents, files. We're going to be putting here and down below. And then send this RFI. file. And wait for the response in here, right? Here on the B tab is the is where I'm gonna track uh, the due date. I can see there are, there is 27 days remaining for this bid package to close, yep. right? And here is where I'm gonna send my um, my bid. So, for example, this is my quote: um, technical docs attached, a general message. Again, I can upload different files if I want to send uh, files along with my bid and just submit. Until the due date, for any reason, if I want to revise my bid and send one of those information here, just come here, revise bid, and there's your opportunity to have to change um, everything you have just sent, okay? And again, if for any reason during this bid period, uh, the GC changed the conditions or the documents, they will be published a, a agenda and all agendas will be found here um, with some messages, some information. So I'm going to keep track of the status of this uh, bid packages in the role of the of, um, a subcontractor. Okay. Wow, so this, this looks like just a great set of capabilities on the marketplace. And as a sub, I get to do all this for free. So yeah. what added things do I, can I do? Or what, like Janice talked about some of these things previously, but if, I would, I'd love for you to just hit them again so folks can hear it again of all of these things that I do as a subcontractor, I can use on the marketplace absolutely free. And then yeah. what are some of the other benefits of being able to upgrade towards the premium tier? What additional things am I going to be allowed to do that, uh, that enhance the experience for me? Okay, premium subscribers, you can see um, some history information here. For example, uh, what is the history of my org doing business with the GC to, with Edge Constructions? So how many inv invitations I have received? What is the bidding rate? Oh, wow, right, right so, there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So those are in interesting information so I can track the history of my uh, relationship with that specific org, right? Another important thing is the, the directory. I have, as a premium subscriber, I have the opportunity to connect with different GCs and look for anyone in the marketplace uh, who might be interested on, on knowing that I'm existing the market, right? So um, I can just find it here from some location for some uh, search for a specific org name or just uh, search in the entire marketplace. I have just sent an invitation request to their specific GC, so I'm just waiting for, for them to respond. But And there's the, another one here, Cloud Operation Pre-Prod. I can just click in here, send request, and then I'm waiting for them to get known that I'm exist in the marketplace. Uh, they will receive recommend, uh, information about my, my org, testimonials of previous project that I, I have delivered for uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the past, right? And get me on their um, community of vendors, right? So uh, later on, I will be invited for some specific opportunity. They will uh, look in the marketplace. This is great. So I, this, I, is, I, this is that LinkedIn style, you know, connection that most of us are already already know pretty well, right? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. looking for people that I want to be introduced to based upon you know, what my requirements are and the types of skills that I've got. And I can go out and send those invitation requests to anyone out there on the marketplace to enhance my, my business development. That's, that's awesome. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So I, I, this is great. I don't know, the, uh, Janice, if you want to add something about the construction premium subscription. Um, um. Yeah, I think the only thing I would like to make sure to add is I know that some people don't think that um, 
subcontractors will sometimes take the time to go through and fill out the information. Although we've, as you can see from what Bruno has demoed today, it is pretty easy. So if for some reason, a subcontractor just decides to respond and just send you an email, um, a GC or head contractor can go ahead and go in and put that bid into the system for that project on their behalf. So we have done some things um, in order to keep things moving along if for some reason that information isn't coming in from the subcontractor. Got it, got it. All right, well, let's, let's wrap the process up. So we started with the general contractor being able to get you know, things published out on the marketplace. We've switched gears into being the subcontractor and how I can see those work requirements, how I can actually go ahead and submit my bid. Now let's go back to the GC or head contractor side. Now that bids and tenders have all been submitted, how do I actually select and award the one that I want? Okay, so let's go back in here. Um, so now I'm again in the whole of the, and playing the role of the GC. If I just go here in the bids tab, I will see all bids that have been just submitted. The one, for example, ABC Builders, I have just submitted this one. Ah, hey, this is the RFI that Bruno has just sent me. I can easily reply here, okay, just to, to close the loop in this RFI subject. Uh, back again here in the bids, this is the, um, the bid that I just received. I can see the lowest, medium, and the highest bid for all bidders. Um, let, me, let me open up another one here with more than one bidder, just so you know. Um, there's one interesting project, train, station, modernization. There is one bid package here, call landscaping. So in this one, I have more than one, just just, just one bid here. Uh, so you can see the lowest, the medium, the highest, right? Uh, out of two cent bids, right? This yeah. is how we're gonna see. I can see details of everyone. I can revise this one. And if I want to award one specific, I just come in here and click on the award button. There's a process internally running this, but essentially it's, it's simple like that, right? Just revise the bids, uh, choose the one you might be interested on and award. And then this is gonna send out information and messages to everyone involved. And there's the normal flow of the, of the business. That's it. That's it. So, I got a great feel for all these key capabilities that Precon can offer. And, and Janice, what a great job you and the team have done in tackling basically the essentials of what I need during the bid tender process. I can't wait to see all of the additional ideas that you have on where Precon's going to go. It's just pretty exciting. So what do folks do now? Maybe we should switch back and talk about you know, what happens next. Sure. Um... Thank you. Uh, here is what I would recommend. I would go to the link provided here and download the data sheet. It contains a summary of what we discussed here today and ensures that someone on the team here will promptly follow up with you to discuss any next steps. Wow, that's it. All right. Well, I can't thank the both of you enough for your time today. Bruno, as always, I love and appreciate the review and the industry knowledge that you always bring to every party. And Janice, what an exciting new industry marketplace. It's additive to the project financial management tools that construction and engineering GBU already provides. And it gets that end-to-end -end discussion of managing a project's data started earlier in the project's overall life cycle. I can't wait to see where this marketplace expands to. Indeed, there's a lot happening here and stay tuned for more. Thanks for everyone um, for your time and your attention today. We hope to see you all in the marketplace really soon. Take care. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everybody.